Hello, in this video, I'm going to demo Cloudflare Security Analytics, WAF Attack Score, and Uploaded Content Scanning. To demonstrate, I'm going to start here with a public site I've set up specifically for lab and testing purposes. First, we now have a Security Analytics tab that brings together all the security detection capabilities in one place to show a detailed understanding of all of a site's traffic and threats. And the idea here is really for a first-time customer or security admin using Cloudflare, building all of the logic into analytics to provide visibility and insights to enable them to lock down their security posture. The Analytics tab differs from the Events tab, which is previously called Overview. The Events tab still shows the prior data that was in Overview, where you can see all events that the WAF took action on, such as logging, blocking, challenges, and so on. However, the Analytics tab provides more visibility to help guide customers through locking down their security posture. Unlike the Events tab, the data shown here is across all HTTP traffic regardless of if any mitigation is deployed, so customers have all the Cloudflare detection capabilities and data in one place. You can see here we provide a time lapse for the traffic pattern and analysis and a breakdown of mitigated versus non-mitigated attacks. Here under logs, you can see specific details of request data. Customers can take a look at the traffic patterns from the last 30 minutes to the previous 30 days and even a custom range. Customers can swap the graph view here for attack analysis or bot analysis. Looking at attack analysis, first thing to note here is we've recently made our WAF even smarter by leveraging new machine learning capabilities. And this complements our managed rules, classifying all requests using a model trained on all good and bad traffic as classified by our managed rules and additional augmented data. Basically, this detects attacks where hackers are continuously modifying and using fuzzing techniques to create attacks with slight variations to evade security implementations. The machine learning model looks at all incoming requests and generates effectively what's known as a WAF attack score. And this is similar to the concept of bot score, where a low score indicates the likeliness of an attack. Here we could see the breakdown of traffic patterns in the last 24 hours, where traffic is classified as an attack, likely attack, likely clean, or clean. Requests that have an attack score between 1 and 20 inclusive are considered an attack. Requests with attack scores between 21 and 50 inclusive are considered likely an attack. And anything outside of that is clean or likely clean. We also have attack analysis on the right here where you can easily click and filter on any of the classifications or even easily filter and update the data shown by using this slider to change the attack score range. I'm going to set the attack score range to a max of 70 here. You'll also notice here we have separate attack scores for specific attacks as well, uh, such as cross-site scripting attack, SQL inje injection attack, and remote code execution attack. Expanding one of these, like the one for cross-site scripting here, you can see we have the same filtering options and capabilities. Now, bringing everything into the analytics view, we have the same capabilities for bot score with our bot analysis, where you can see if traffic is automated or likely automated and get a breakdown of the bot score source. Now, one of the most powerful features of analytics are the insights we provide, so users can jump right to what matters. Here, I'm going to click the filter for not mitigated request scored as attack. And perhaps you want to look for something very specific where you've seen several recent attacks manipulating query strings. So I'm going to go ahead and add an additional filter here. And I'm going to go down and select, I'll select query string. And I know that query string is going to contain a question mark. So I'll go ahead and apply that. And we can see the results here. So I'll go down and I'll go ahead and expand one of these here. And we can see this request has an attack score of 6, SQL injection attack score of 10. And you can also see the other specific details, including the respective query string. Now, another useful capability customers can leverage is to use WAF attack score with other metrics we expose, like bot score. For example, you may have situations where you want insights into if automated traffic is malicious or not. By combining WAF attack score and bot score, customers can effectively do this. So I'm already showing requests categorized as attacks here. So I'll just now add the filter for requests with the bot score less than 30, which will include all automated and likely automated requests. So I'll go ahead and just slide this bot score and I'll set it to a max of 30. And as you can see, that's the 
that's the results we get. Now, if you see low attack scores and low bot scores such as this, this is likely signifying bots that are vulnerability scanners looking for possible exploit opportunities. Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove the filters here. And the last thing I want to show here uh, under analytics is malicious content upload detection and analysis. So when enabled, content scanning will detect attempts to upload malicious content. It will scan uploaded items and based on malicious signatures and heuristics for malware and viruses, it will provide the respective detection and analysis. And the scan results, along with additional metadata, are exposed as fields available in WAF custom rules, allowing users to implement fine-grained mitigation rules. So going down here to the upload content analysis, we can see here some attempts have been made and detected. Filtering on the hits, we can see more details. So expanding one of the logs here, we can see that this request had malicious content that's been detected. Now the actions taken depend on the WAF rule configuration user sets. I hope you found this demo informational and useful. For additional details, make sure to check out the Cloudflare site.